Hi everybody, welcome back. My name is Mr. Campbell from Mr. Campbell Rocks. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make custom email lists using Google Contacts. It's a great way to get a group of students together in one email group and email them all with one email. So the first thing that you're gonna to want to do is you'll wanna to go to contacts.google.com and it'll have all of your contacts. And the beautiful thing about uh, Google Contacts is that in your organization, you have access to all of those contacts. So in your district, all of those emails will be in your contact list. So what we're gonna do is we'll come down here and we'll create a new label. And we'll just call this test label. And then we'll save that there. And you'll notice that we have that label right there. Then I can come up here and I'm actually just gonna search for my son. So my son goes to school in our district and you'll see that it'll pull up his information. I'm gonna block some of his email information. But um, he is in my domain, which is our district domain. So now I can actually click on this blue button right here and add him to a list. So I'm gonna add him to test label right there. I'm gonna click apply. And then so you'll notice over here where I have test label, I have one contact in that label. So I have another son in our district. Um, so I'm gonna add him as well. And I can come here and click on the blue label, add it to test label, click apply. So now I have two contacts in this test label group. So when I come back to my email and I want to create a new email, that label, um, I'll have the ability to email both of them. And again, in, in your example that you're working with, you're probably working with a class of 30 or maybe you're a middle school or high school and you have six or seven classes and you wanna organize emails by class. Sometimes the LMS that you use isn't necessarily user friendly. So then I would just type in test label and those two emails come up and I can send that quote unquote class a message. Um, you can also upload um, all of your contacts here into different groups and you can do that by importing and exporting. What I suggest that you do to make this clean is you export some of your contacts so that you can see all the categories that Google will organize for you as far as email, home phone number, student number, different things like that. And then when you import, you'll have all of the information in the right cells um, and you'll have all those contacts. Again, if you're here, it's most likely because you're an educator or working with Google Workspace. I love you, I appreciate you, and I'm glad that you're here.